Mikhail Kozovich, what's up? How are you doing, dude? Let's do some fancy stuff today. Let's wait until people start coming. things on our beloved Apostle Gicaldus. Nothing much happening recently really. Yeah, it's it says Montel, right? So um, it just gets like crowded in the holidays I believe so it in the middle of the uh, of this semester of the year nothing much going on it's a small town yesterday's transit was a mess I believe we meant traffic um, that's just you know common in Brazil when it rains the traffic becomes unbearable Pretty much like here, uh, I live in uh, a very secluded place from my town, like from the uh, center. And uh, even here where it's not like well crowded or anything in the peak hours, like like right now, like 6 p.m., 6.30, 7, uh, the traffic gets really busy and wind range is just a freaking mess, man. I feel you. I know how it is. I really know how it is. You know what's weird though of streaming uh, on mobile is that uh, I don't have a viewer count. So uh, on the PC though I do have a viewer count which I believe is real time. Uh, but on mobile I don't so I actually don't know how many people are in. Yeah, really don't. So it's rather difficult to know how many people are here. Yeah, I see three people. Okay, so people are start coming in. Let's get to five and we'll get this party going. Well, uh, the bus drivers decide to advance the bus on the yellow light, so it locks two streets in one lane. That's lame. That's really lame. Also, uh, th that's a big problem with urban areas in Brazil, the, the, the buses. 
uh, or rather the streets are not meant for public transportation which in boggles my mind totally um, even even I am I'm, I'm, I'm from Curitiba right so um, it's like this big reference city when it comes to urbanization and public transportation and still we have like shitty problems with public transportation that the, the streets were not made to carry buses that's that's like the whole thing uh, on the center of the of the city though we, we do have special um, lanes for buses so it's it's pretty nice we in Curitiba we have what we call a surface subway or surface metro I don't know how it's translated in English but um, so it's it's really fluid on the uh, more residential areas like away from the uh, city center it's pretty much crappy as, as well public transportation is whack indeed yeah that's that's just how it is man it became hell expensive here last semester I paid 12 reais a day to go to college I don't know how it is now yeah um, you know what's weird is that um, Whenever I need to go, so I live in this small town that if I need to go to the center, to you know, the, the bank or just something or buy something. Um, it's, not like, it's not like I live in a farm though, but the, 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 the majority of the infrastructure in the city is on the center. So when I have to do something big, like uh, go to the bank or, um, you know, get something from the, uh, uh, from the mail office or something like that I do have to go to the center and um, the bus I spent far highs than 10 I believe it is right now and if I uber I spend like six so it, it, it really absolutely it doesn't pay off the, the bus doesn't pay off you know you can uh, you can just call uber and uh, you know it picks you up in front of the house uh, and uh, leaves you on uh, directly on the place you want to be. So yeah, the bus is is, is really losing the the, the, the the reason to be these days because of the um, transportation apps. You know, man. Uh, or just spend like six has a few on my end and cut the expenses in half. Yeah, and and it's really more comfortable, right? So you get to um, uh, the place you want to go. You you just hop. On your car, on your, uh, on wherever you are, and you just uh, 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 get whenever you wanna go. So it's really more comfortable. Uh, maintenance on our Volkswagen shitbox is cheap enough to be covered by the savings. I mean, that's the purpose of a car, right? Plus, I can do lifts for my colleagues and get paid a small sum for it. Yeah, like small crowdfunding, maybe. That's that. That's nice. That shooter. What's up, man? The man, the legend. We're going to build it today. So, um, what's the viewer count right now, uh, Dago? Cheaper than bus and faster. Four. Let's get this party started, man. So, today, uh, after a year and a half, after drama, after hospital, after you know whatever the hell. Today we're going to build the final Shark PCB. So um, what I was going to do today was build my prototype, which uh, I was going to build with a 3D printed case of the tall uh, Shark case, which then again is available on the uh, Ekron project. Um, both short case and high tall case, they are available there, so you can just download and 3D print. Um, this one, uh, Mr. Keats uh, 3D printed for me. He has a 3D printer. Let me get it really quick. Here it is. Um, I'm really eager to build this because uh, I designed this tall case so that the uh, you see that the um, the case it's it's deep. So the um, so the uh, 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 the your SA and MT3 uh, profile keycaps, your um, tall profile keycaps would fit better and feel uh, uh, more um, comfortable when using because you can rest your fingers on this um, curve here. So the idea of this case, since it's angle, is that you rest your fingers like your, um, I don't know how this, this curve of the hand is, 
so you can uh, um, place here and type here so but um, I'm going to leave this uh, for later because I don't have a plate for it and um, yeah another day today what we are going to do is build a uh, sharp PCB basic kit for our dude uh, dash so Dash uh, was one of the people that ordered uh, the Shark PCBs on the uh, Mini Brazilian GB or whatever you want to call it. And um, as you guys might know, the Shark um, Basic Kit comes with a base plate, which is a very nice, uh, has this very nice artwork. Evil, what's up? I'm glad you're here with us, man. So as I was explaining, we're going to build a, a shark basic kit for our friend uh, Dash, who is a, a fellow Brazilian, and um, you know, and she'll a little show you guys uh, the uh, basic shark kit. Uh, then again, everything that I'm going to show here is open sourced. Uh, you can find it on the repositories of the Ekron project if you get to the Ekron documentation, which is gondolindrin.github.io/ekrondocs. Uh, everything's there. So nothing new here. You can just get stuff from here, right? Um, from there. Uh, so this is the plate. Uh, this plate you can order it up of uh, FR4. Really cheap. Uh, really nice thing to have. Um, I really like. I really dig this. Um, this plate. Uh, how it turned out. I'm really glad. The base plate, which is the one that stands under, uh, has the uh, plated shark logo, which is just amazing, honestly. Uh, I know I'm biased because I designed it, but it's just, you know, uh, 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 we really did strike the right point there because this, this looks just awesome. Uh, on camera, it doesn't look as good as it does, guys, I'm telling you, because the blue color is really much more um, of a greenish, translucent, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, I think you guys can see on camera, right? That is pretty translucent. It's just amazing, really. Um, then again, uh, I don't actually um, uh, profit from any of this. Uh, who profits from this is Steven from Wood Cables, who is currently selling uh, the kits. Uh, what I want to do is, you know, just get my word out there. The Chino, what's up, man? So. The Chino also was one of the guys that ordered a basic kit from me um, and he will be he's receiving his with, I think, uh, box jades that he ordered from me too, shortly. Today we're going to build this uh, with a shark PCB for Dash. Uh, Dash also entered a, a GB of T1 switches which are still with me, his switches, and we are going to build the Shark PCB with the switches. And by God, did this turn out good, guys. Then again, I know I'm biased, but uh, I'm really proud of how this turned out. Um, all the work, all the effort that I put into it. Let me tell you, people, this is really good. I'm really, really, really proud of how it turned out. Really am. Um, Everything is well organized. It looks clean. Uh, the the silk screen is just mwah, perfecto, huh? And um, yeah, awesome. This is what we are going to do today. We're going to build it with looped uh, T ones. Uh, I did loop them with three two zero four tribosis three two zero four, which was what um, Dash ordered from me. And that's what we are going to do today. I'm going to show you guys how to build it. So this uh, stream is actually a two-in-one. It's both a stream and a um, tutorial on uh, 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 building it, or a rather a let's build Shark PCB. So I'll go, I will uh, uh, um, edit this and do a uh, tutorial on how to build your your basic kit Shark PCB. And again, let me show you guys the full beast. This shark logo, really amazing how it turned out. Um, a very a personal pride of mine are the flags, right? So Brazilian flag, 
which is me, and the uh, Old Glory, which is from Steven, right? If it weren't from Steven, this project wouldn't be happening. He founded prototypes, he put time on it, he went after um, the fabs, the PCB fabs, really awesome guy. On the back, you have all the components, at least almost all the components, the microprocessor here, reset button, the, um, the connector, and the shark also, you have a shark PCB here, plated to, and the Akron logo. Awesome, I really like how this turned out. So that's what we are going to do today. Before that, I would like to show you guys some goody duties that I received today. Um, I'm looking forward to building mine. I finally got the MK Ultra Farm in today. Awesome, man. Tell me how it turned out. Um, I actually didn't know that the, that foam existed, and um, had I known, I would maybe design the Shark PCB a little bit different. But oh well, uh, tell me how it went, and um, I really want to know. And do a post on the Shark boards subreddit, maybe. Cable. Before doing this though, I have some stuff to show you guys, which are the pièces de la résistance of today's stream, which are three things. The first is one that I like to call the Ekron ruler. Um, PCB designers, we uh, love to test our uh, fabs, our PCB fabs. So what we generally do is we do a very, very simple uh, project, PCB. Um, some people do business cards, PCB business cards. I have some mine, I can show you guys. Um, I have to change mine from PhD student to PhD candidate. So I don't have much on hand. I do have to make them, but anyways. Um, one of the other small and simple projects that you can do to test your fab and uh, prototype your fab uh, prototype of fab, I mean, uh, if you want to know how a fab is, the quality of their PCBs, you send in a very uh, simple project that shows uh, the, the, the many scales, the many footprints that they can do, and you can check out their quality. The first disclaimer is that uh, these PCBs that I'm going to show here, the ruler and the two PCBs that are coming, they were uh, sponsored by PCBWay. So PCBWay came in contact with me, they gave me a, a voucher and they basically gave me these PCBs for free, these prototypes for free, um, in exchange that I did this unboxing and a, an article, which is nice because they funded, they basically funded the prototypes, right? So it's really nice on their part. Also, um, I wanted to know how their stuff is. Like, then again, the Shark PCB was done with their assembly service, but I have never ordered their PCB, uh, their, um, their like non-assembled PCB, so I wanted to take a look at that too. Um, this uh, Ekron uh, ruler here, it's a very cute, nice ruler, as you would expect. It has two scales one with a millimeter and another of inches. It goes up to 30 centimeters or 300 millimeters and 11.8 inches, right? Uh, everything is plated. So if you guys take a look, the Ekron logo here plated, beautiful. Here we have the open source hardware logo. And here we have written the Ekron project by your man Gondolindrum. And the address, gondolindrum.github.io slash docs, right? On the back, you have uh, some footprints that, um, it, this, is, this is a really nice thing to have when you are designing PCBs, uh, that you can check the size of your components in real life, because uh, designing PCBs on a CAD can be very deceitful in the sense that you can zoom in and out of the PCB and uh, the, the tiny itty bitty components, they, they, they won't show their true uh, size and you will think that they are bigger than they actually are. When you have one of these things here uh, to look at, you have a very, um, a much better um, sense of dimension, right? So here I have 
and 04, 02. So if you guys see, it's a decreasing scale, right? And this last guy here, which is 04, 02, is just ridiculously small. This last guy here is your common uh, a fourth watt axial resistor, right? So you have that as well to take into consideration. On this side here, we have uh, the three uh, switches footprints, this one being uh, MX, this one being Alps, this one being shocks, uh, KL shocks. This one here being uh, the footprint for the uh, rotary encoder uh, Alps EC11EX which is the encoder that uh, is on the Shark PCB. Ed Vicentini, hey beauty, what's up my man? How are you doing? So I'm showing the guys the PCBs that I have, um, that I have here. Um, then I have some connectors. So if you guys take a look here, this connector here is a USB micro connector that is suddenly used. If I remember correctly, this one is used on the Vortex Core, for example. This one here is the uh, USB-C connector that is generally used. It is the Korean row parts uh, type C dash M dash 12 dash three, no, no, type dash C dash M dash 12. Uh, 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 and this is the mini B connector that is generally used. I don't remember the serial number of this one. It's the XM7D0512. I believe this is from uh, Hirose, right? Um, here we have some LEDs, so you guys can see that those are some LEDs. Here are some diodes, so this is the common diode, the common uh, axial T192 diode that we use. The one here that I'm pointing at, this is the our common SOD123. This is SOD323 and this is SOD523 which is just ridiculously small and uh, hard to solder. These guys here are the uh, some of the microprocessors that we use. So if you guys take a look here, this is the AVR, the AVR processor, it's quite big. This is the uh, ARM. This is a tiny version of the ARM, as is this one. So you've got a nice myriad of um, footprints here. I will be doing a, um, a, uh, a video, a, a dedicated video review of this, just so you guys know that uh, I have this and I will probably do uh, a raffle or some kind of uh, 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 giveaway of one of these rulers for the guys at the Brazilian Discord. The next PCB that I want to show is one that we have waited for so, so long, which is the second version of the Keeps PCB. So uh, for you guys that don't know, um, uh, the Akron project was born with uh, two projects, one being the Arctic PCB, the other being the Keeps PCB. At first, um, the Arctic PCB was supposed to be your universal 60% uh, layout PCBs. Uh, the, 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 we have a meme in the community, Swiss cheese, right, for it has every layout possible. Uh, with time, uh, the, uh, I, I did do a, a prototype for a first version which works. Um, the problem is that it had some dimension issues at the time. Um, so it, it just kind of got uh, uh, thrown away. Now I did the second version of the Arctic PCB. Uh, now the Arctic PCB is a single layout. Uh, it just supports song and bottom row and it was chosen by the myth, the legend, the Arctic Fox. This one here, the Keeps PCB, it remained uh, as it was in the past. So this is a hot swap universal 60% PCB. Let me open this up. Uh, I'm opening this for the first time uh, with you guys. What did I miss? Nothing much, man. Just me talking about the Akron project and the first projects that integrated it and whatnot. And now I am unboxing something that has been on the works for a year and a half maybe maybe more maybe less but somewhere around those those uh, uh, those lines which is the keeps PCB I don't think keeps is here but he will see the beauty later 
and it's already looking awesome let me tell you guys that Ooh. oh yeah oh yeah this guys here this is gondogasm look at this oh god look at this oh man this 150 what's up man how are you doing so this is the second version revision pre revision alpha of the mr. keeps PCB right so this is a uh, universal 60% PCB um, it got uh, the label right the label on the uh, Keeps PCB, uh, I don't think that the camera will focus. Uh, let me see, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, da, 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 I'm trying to get focus here. The problem is the light too. And it's very small. Well, you guys can check the, um, the files. What it says on the label is Keeps PCB. Version pre-alpha designed by Ganda Lindrum in partnership with Mr. Keeps, and this is what Mr. Keeps um, um, told me when I uh, I took a, a bite out of him having so many keyboards. He said, "But I don't even have that many keyboards." By the way, the guys have the guy has over 100 of them. So this became a meme in the Discord, and the meme is crystallized on his PCB. This is amazing i really liked the plating on this um it really turned out way better than i thought it would honestly one thing that i really like about pcb way is that uh, they have very crisp and clear silk screen uh which is one thing that i have uh um one problem that i have with jlc jlc has nine pcbs they're cheap but their silk screen you can't go under um, 0.8 millimeter height or they will be completely uh, unlegible. This uh, PCB weight though, you can go to 0.6 sometimes and you can read it perfectly. So I really like their uh, silk screens. Uh, also, the PCB looks clean, no problems whatsoever. Their uh, construction is flawless. Um, really, really amazing. I really like how this turned out. Uh, I will be assembling it in the next few days and prototyping it, but by God, does this look good, guys? Does this look good? Then again, take a look at the logo. Man, this logo, this logo killed it for me. This logo is amazing. Mr. Keeps, this is Keeps logo, by the way. He, he did give me a um, vectorized uh, file on his logo, so I put it here and man, Oh, here he is. What's up, dude? So, here we are. Keeps PCB. Man, I have to send you one of these. This is just amazing. Um, clean PCB, really awesome. PCB way really outdid themselves here. Um, the uh, label here looks awesome. Uh, the, um, the pads, they look flawless. Honestly, I couldn't. Um, I couldn't ask for a better thing, honestly, man. I have to assemble them still, though. But hey, look at this. Look at this. I'm a little jealous, so Driftin says. The MK logo is almost as good as the DM1. Man, I really loved how this turned out. Really awesome. Ready to solder? Uh, no, I have to uh, assemble it first. I have to solder the SMD stuff first. It will take me quite some time. Um, but um, yeah, I think this will turn out amazing. Hand soldering PP cross. Yeah, I, Pepe, I have the, uh, I have an air solder. I have an, an air soldering station. And honestly though, it's, it's a nice hobby for me. I really like soldering and building things so Really can't go wrong. The label is amazing. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the label. Then again, let's try. So it should say Keeps PCB version pre-alpha designed by Gondolendrum in partnership with Mr. Keeps. And the meme, the famous meme that he told me, but I don't even have that many keyboards. 
With 104% solder, no equipment is a barrier. Absolutely. 104% solder, gondolendrum seal of approval. So yeah, awesome uh, keeps. I will send you one of these as soon as possible. I'll try uh, assembling it. Really nice thing. Then again, guys, I, I, I have to stress this enough. This, everything was practically given to me by PCBWay. It was sponsored. They gave this to me by free. Almost, I, I did have to pay like a portion of the shipping, like 10 bucks or something. But props for them because this is awesome. This is really amazing. Now, let's go for the other one, which is the Arctic. Now, the Arctic did get a concept change through the eras, which was uh, initially it was intended as a universal 60% with all those layouts, the Swiss cheese, but then it evolved to be a fixed layout, a plain style PCB with flex cuts. And the layout is hand cherry picked by your by your famous and trusted Arctic Fox. And oh god, then again I have no words for this. Do the flex cuts. Oh god, the flex cuts. Look at this guys. Now this blue that uh, PCB way does impeccable i really like the blue color sorry what are the differences um so the uh, arctic is a fixed layout so as you can see in this bottom row it's tangan bottom row only it uh, supports split right shift it supports stepped caps and split backspace that's it uh no leds and Sexy flex cuts, yay! And uh, honestly, the flex cuts they turned out really good. Um, I didn't, yeah, man, I, I couldn't ask for anything better. The, the, those flex cuts they are awesome, those flex cuts really, really solid for me. Look at this, guys, come on, look at it. Shiny, it's awesome. And then again, uh, the camera won't show it, but the blue is deep. The blue is nice. It's a very nice shade of blue, and I really like this blue. Also, uh, the label, right? So here we are. The label. The label here says Arctic PCB Pre Revision Alpha. Designed by Gondolindrum in partnership with Arctic Fox. And the Easter egg here is Dogwind, which was the uh, the very first message that was sent to me in the Keeps Discord, which it, 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 is, a, um, it is a sticker that Arctic, uh, uh, um, that Arctic uh, got into the um, Keeps Discord, and it's, I think, the most used, at least I use it a lot. And dude, let me tell you, uh, I didn't believe you the first time, but man, does this look good. This looks amazing and I have never had a flex, uh, flex relief PCB before, but there again. So today is timing day. Every, everyone is arriving at the right time. So um, then again, I take. Behold your. Also, the uh, you guys can see the logo, the plated logo, amazing, really good, plated logo. You guys can take a look at the GitHub page after for a more um, detailed. Dude, honestly, this is amazing. I, I really loved how it turned out. The blue is nice. Uh, the PCB is nice. Um, everything is just. Perfect. The flex cuts, they are awesome. Um, it's weird because they really isolate the alphas, right? So the the alphas, they really do bend a little, which is the that flex effect that's so uh, uh, that's so important in the community nowadays. And uh, dude, it love it, it looks good. Uh, the shade of blue is amazing. Um, 
Guys, I'm impressed. I'm, 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 I'm genuinely impressed. Then again, the silk screen on these PCB is clear. It's awesome. Um, which is a problem that I have. And then again, for example, with um, with JLC, that their silk screen gets blurry when the um, when the letters get reasonably small. And uh, PCB does it just amazingly. Their uh, silk screen is their silk screen is very very sharp. You can read it well. Really awesome. Really awesome. Gib. Yeah, so uh, what I intend to do here is, so we have Keys PCB and Arctic PCB. So, the Keys PCB, uh, are these the free ones from PCBWay? Yes, these are, the, um, these are the ones that were sponsored by PCBWay. Uh, then again, uh, PCBWay is one of the biggest, or at least most uh, famous, uh, PCB manufacturers out there. They're not the cheapest though, but uh, I can attest that they are the best um, bang for your buck. JLC is nice, JLC is okay. They are pretty cheap for prototyping, but their PCB quality is not good. Honestly, uh, JLC doesn't have a good coating and a good plating and their silk screen sometimes leaves me hanging. You don't know what's written. You don't know what's, uh, 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 it's not crisp. It's not uh, readable uh, silk screen. Whereas with P uh, PCB way, the silk screen is very, very much readable. It's perfect. I have no, absolutely no problems with it. Um, Yeah, I, I, I really can't find any problems here with this PCB. If I can be nitpicky, maybe it is that the edges are a little rough, like on the sides, the edges, they are very, very smooth, but here there's some kind of rough, but you know, it's not gonna matter when you solder it and put it under. I'm just mesmerized by this logo, man. Like the, the Mr. Keeps logo is amazing. Speedy on the plate to eat out of. No man, the dude PCB way gives us free PCBs. What are you speaking, man? What are you saying? If JLC is watching this, I would gladly take free PCBs from them too. Why not, JLC? Email me. But as it is right now, I really don't have a problem. Uh, I don't know if uh, it's you guys can see clearly. Let me let me see if I can show you guys the Arctic logo because the Arctic logo it turned out amazing too. Look at it. It's plated. It's what's nice too about these logos is that since they are metallized, they are like um, I think the word is not three D. I think that. Um, you can really feel them. It's not a silk screen that you can't feel. It's 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 really nice to pass your fingers over it and feel it. It's really nice and really crisp, really defined, which is why I do them plated because that way they are the most crisp, well defined, and honestly, right? So the Keeps PCB logo. Let me show you guys. Here it is. The Keys PCB logo also is amazing. So yeah. Also for you guys that didn't see, uh, this is another project that I sent to PCB way, which is the ruler. So it's a very nice, very classy, very cute ruler that, well, it, it really works as a ruler. Let me tell you, I did use it. Two scales, millimeters, inches. Uh, the nice thing about this one though is that it has uh, the footprints. So I have footprints for the microprocessors here, footprints for the LEDs, footprints for the connectors, footprints for the switches. So I have the three switches here, 
MX, Alps, Shocks, and here is the footprint for the uh, rotary encoder. Uh, here are the footprints for some of the passive components, ranging from 1812 to 0402. Uh, this one is your common um, axial register. Um, again, this ruler here, really nice, really sharp. Everything is plated. You can get it at the uh, the files are at the Akron project. So if you guys want to take a look at it, there it is. Really like how this turns out. I, I really like also the open source hardware plated logo. I think it's just amazing. So yeah, guys, these are the PCBs. Let me just turn the lights on here at my room. So this is it after what has it been keeps a year and a half or something of designing and back and forth. We have the version twos of these PCBs. Also, given that the last version, so let me get the first prototype version so you guys can see what I mean. Stop with the taunting. So this is the first version of the Keeps PCB. This is the first version of the Arctic PCB. This has almost two years, this one has. And it works, uh, I have built it. It works nice, but it has a major flaw, which is it doesn't fit the case. It's too wide, it's too tall, I mean. It's too tall and it doesn't fit the cases. So let me show you. This is a common, uh, this is an NPRO case. So this is your universal 60% case. When you fit it in, see, it doesn't fit in. Imagine my face when I designed this crap and it didn't fit in the goddamn case. I was just, I, I, I don't even have words for it. It's just of the sound, I was, so uh, I really felt bad when that happened. So as you guys can see, it is tall. It fits on the sides, but on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, I don't know how it is on this, uh, on this dimension here, it doesn't fit. It's way too tall to fit the case. The, uh, the Keeps PCB, I think I have a prototype for the Keeps PCB too, it should be somewhere around here. It also had that problem where it wouldn't fit the, uh, it wouldn't fit the case. These ones here, however, they were done with um, dimensions from the GH60. So the GH60 is open source. If you guys take a look, it is open source and it fits. There you go. It fits just right. Oh God, I am so proud of myself. The only problem that I have with this Empro case though, is that the uh, holes don't match many of the, uh, of the, the screw holes. Why? Because they didn't do the holes in the right places, these goddamn fuckers. But yeah, it feels, it fits 
just nicely. Okay, let's see chat. Uh, what the hell, Gondo? You love MK more than me. Luke's he spent way more time on that one. Um, I've been on a hobby since 2013. Something like that. So yeah, I do have some time on this hobby. Uh, but in order, so uh, Douglas says, in order to want to fully enjoy PCB, one must feel the energy of his idealizer, hence the 3D logo. That's why it's 3D. So it 3Ds out of the PCB. You need to add one U to U measurements to the bottom. Look, Alex, who's this sexy man? That's me, your neighborhood friend, Gondo. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Since it is a Fox PCB, will it be canine because of, oh, that's just that. Yeah. Dremel the shit out of it. We did try to Dremel it. So when you, when we took, by the way, we did order 10. So there is a way why I have only three. I sent uh, three to Keeps and we tried to Dremel it. We tried to do whatever we had, but it didn't work in the end. It just didn't work. It was hands down one of the most frustrating moments on my keep designer life but then again this was like the second project that I did with keeps so it was understandable but yeah we did try to dremel it we, we did try to remedy the situation and pro cases aren't universal no they're not uh, they do have uh, some holes in um, some weird uh, spots but they do have three holes that align which are this one, this one, and this one. So they have three holes that align with universal 60%. So you can use like a um, DC60 with this if you want. You can use a GH60 with this and whatnot. But now you can use the Mr. Keeps PCB, which is hot swap. Amazing. Blah, 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 blah. Oh wait, is that an N1 case? Yes it is, an N Pro 1 case. Now I need a board just for this PCB. I mean, it is your layout, man. It is your layout, dude. N Pro bad case. Yes it is, it is a bad case. Yeah. So there you go guys, the new PCBs are here, they work well, they fit the goddamn case. Man, I'm so proud of this. This is gonna work dude, keeps, where the fuck is keeps, keeps. Here it is man, here it fucking is. The PCB man, the PCBs work. Also, you know, the, the, the Arctic should fit too since it, it it has the same, it has the same. Oh fuck. Oh no, 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 shit, 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 shit. Oh God. Oh. Works guys, Woo, it works. There we have it. What the fuck just happened? I, at first, when I put the PCB in, I thought it didn't fit and I was like, what the fuck? But it fits, it does fit. Here it is people. Works, it works. Arctic! Works! Fuck yeah, I, I, I shit you not. These fucking prototypes here, where the fuck are them? Here. These goddamn prototypes here, they didn't fit. This was frustrating as shit fuck. Especially because Keeps paid for them. And I was like, what the fuck? I made a dude pay for shit that doesn't work? I mean, they work, but they don't fit cases. 
and heart syncope. Yeah, exactly. I just I, I had I had yeah, but it works. Fuck. So uh, now it does. It does it does fucking work? These fuckotypes. Yeah, fuckotypes. That's the new. I'm not. This is. Those are not prototypes. Nice doggo. These are fuckotypes. Fuck them. Fuckotypes. Now they work. The V2s work. The V2s fit. They are ah, perfecto. Next PCBs are like shit fuck. Yeah, fuckotypes. God damn it. I, I can't do any stereo with that. People won't buy the PCB. Anyways. This is what I had to uh, uh, to uh, show you guys. Um, so the new prototypes are here. Uh, I am going to build them uh, and assemble them, uh, build the firmware. I am going to send Arctic, one of each. I am going to send uh, Keeps, one of each. I am going to send Quakems, one of each. Uh, Quakems did ask for one. Uh, I am going to send um, Apiary keyboards. I'm going to send one, and one will be for me. Post the thin vintage thick board too. Yeah, so I bought a wise board from Dago, and it feels fucking amazing because it has box navies on it. Really awesome, man. Thank you. The board is amazing. So, guys. Let's get down to business after I had an almost heart attack and heart syncope. Nice words from our people. Here it is, here it is guys. Where is you know you know you know those rappers that get like um, stashes of money and do something like this? So this is my rapper stance with not with dollar bills but with PCBs, you know, so let me get a nice pose here. Someone clip this. So this is this is damn it. Damn man, I don't got the bling. I don't got the swag for this. Let's see. Hell yeah! There you go, man. Awesome. Awesome. Then again, guys, I will be doing a, a standalone review for each uh, of these. Um, PCB, we did ask for a, some, um, some uh, for a review and an article on the uh, project pages. I will write that for you people that are uh, interested on um, uh, you better post this on PhD, you beautiful man. I did, I did post the stream on PG, I don't, but maybe they didn't catch up. But anyways, um, the uh, the uh, I will be posting a video review of each of one of those PCPs, posting it on the um, on the project's main pages and doing an article, because that was my deal with PCB Way in exchange for the protos. Um, for you people that are designing PCBs and want to get into design and assembling and manufacturing and whatnot and would like uh, opinions on the manufacturers, I will do reviews of these ones. Then again, this is a sponsored video. PCBWay did send me these PCBs for free, expecting me to do a uh, review and an article on the project pages. If you guys don't have any more questions, I will pass on to the primo piatto of this night. Boss Navy's hips case, every screw save for one screw to a brass insert plate is steel and the rubber feet are intact. Yes, also I demand more keyboards with nipple feet. Nipple feet are amazing. Nipple feet are amazing. Guys, I'm going to start the building uh, Dash's uh, shark. If you guys have any more questions about these two projects and the Ekron rulers, please let me know. Uh, I will select two people on uh, the Keeps Discord and I will send them uh, if they uh, pay for uh, the, the um, if they pay for the um, the shipping, I will send them uh, each one a ruler 
and I will send one to Keeps too. Can I have one? Okay, awesome, you have one. Uh, I will start some people. Let's get to the main event of tonight. Let me get these switches. Oh, just one more thing that I got to show you guys. I have this um, container. It is full of kale hot sub sockets. Another problem that I had with the Protos is that the footprint for the hot sub, so hot sub sockets was not right this time it should fit just nice amazing oh yeah there you go guys oh you guys are going to love this let me show you guys so this is your common hot swap kale socket, you can even see the um, kale there. They would work on a Shark PCB, no these don't. Uh, I can show you why, but uh, for them to work you have to have these pads in this shape here with the hole on the middle. See? There you go, see? contacts they are perfectly aligned with the pads and on the other side let's see there you go see on the other side there they are if we took a switch let me get the switches By the way, Dash, do you want me to build it with the uh, stock ones or the lubed ones? So guys, this is a clear housing T1. Also, I did fine tune the switch footprint so that the, um, the PCB mounting pegs, they have to fit, you have to squeeze them a little for them to fit. Yeah, there you go, you have to press them a little for them to fit, there you go, so perfect alignment, guys this is looking pretty good, I like this, ooh I love this, there you go guys, the kale hot swap socket there, just beautiful and the switch the switch on the other side then again when you guys get your shark PCBs and one of these PCBs one of the Akron project PCBs you will note that you have to give the switch a very nice squeeze for it to go in the holes especially because of the PCB mounting pegs that's because I did design the um, the holes with a tiny tiny bit of less tolerance so that they would be very tight and the, the uh, you wouldn't have the problem with the uh, switch kind of wobbly when you try to um, solder it or um, hot swap it so if you are doing a plateless hot swap these footprints these PCBs will fit you beautifully because they are very tight on the switch and the switch won't wobble Shadowfax just arrived, you can start now. 
Yeah, man, I was just wrapping it up, starting the uh, shark build. So yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, I have literally a box full of stuff. I have, um, you know what? Let me show you guys real quick what I have here. I want to show you guys just one thing that arrived today that I am astounded by, which is this guy here. This is a prototype artisan that I won the raffle for, which is the clouds of best pen or best pawn. I don't know if it's French or not. What's really interesting about it is that it has the Millennial Falcon inside it. I kid you not, look at this. Let's just wait for our camera to focus. Focus! Look at it, guys. This is an SA row 1 profile, if I remember correctly. And it has a goddamn Millennium Falcon inside it. And you guys can't see because the camera won't focus, but the uh, orange stuff under it looks like a cloud. It really looks like a cloud. So it really remembers that um, that scene from the uh, Star Wars, uh, I believe it was uh, The Empire Strikes Back, where the Millennium Falcon gets off that planet that was that Lando was in. I don't remember the name of the planet. There it goes off the clouds, and this really remembers me of that uh, scene of Star Wars. And man, I must tell you guys, this is by far one of the best artisans that I have ever laid my eyes on and I'm really glad that I took it. Also, the packing is just... Huh, you can't go wrong with Key Labs. Those guys are amazing. They are also very, very communicative. They send you emails uh, and whenever they need. They also sent me this little card, which uh, I don't know why, but it looks, I, I don't know if it has like any practical utility, but it, um, look at this. It has the uh, rebels symbol and it says proto on the back. So this is like a certificate of authenticity maybe or something like that. And the card, which looks like it is hand signed or not, I have no idea. From Key Labs, I believe they're called Chad. Here we are, Chad and Andrew. Amazing guys. I believe that guy that deals with uh, with custom services, Chad, because he sent me a bunch of emails. So props to Key Labs for this amazing stuff. Uh, I have been very lucky with artisans as of lately. I got my Orochi, I got uh, this one. Uh, so, yeah, can't really complain. Okay, what else have I to show you guys? Oh! So, I will be doing a unboxing later, but this is a dev tty that arrived also arrived today today was the mail day everything arrived today and i got this cmy kit i really love the cmy kit it's really amazing really colorful and this is the uh, full kit There we go, for Dev TTY. I believe we can get it for very cheap on drop right now, so if you guys are interested, go for it. I believe it's 100 bucks for the full set. Really amazing profile MT3. I also got this, which is one of the only GMK sets that I have the gall to buy. 
Hello, just in time for the unboxing. I see, yes, I have passed, uh, we are past half stream. I'm trying to end it at 8 a.m. I am just wrapping stuff up so I can um, build uh, Dash's Shark PCB. But I'm just showing you guys what's coming next uh, on maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow. I will be unboxing Red Sam. I will be unboxing Dev TTY, the received. And uh, I will also be showing you guys this one. This one is one that I have been wanting for a very, very long time. This is the SA Nerd. Drop. This is one of the most bang for a buck stuff that I have ever seen in the hobby. It costs uh, 50 bucks a set, uh, PBT die soup. And what really strikes me is that it has Elven Legends. If you guys don't know, I have been a nerd at the level of talking Elven with... Uh, we had a liter literature... It wasn't as... It was a high fantasy club as it were. We played D&D, we talked in Elven. We had this deal that we couldn't talk English or Portuguese or any other language for that matter. Uh, when we were together and we would only talk Elven, so I'm fluent in Elven. That still only counts as one, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice reference there. So, amazing. And this one that I was just crazy for, which is two DSA nerd, but it is the Soviet Legends. So, yeah, uh, Really amazing, I am just dying to use this and by god is this amazing is this amazing i will also be unboxing and using it on next things and there is one little more thing that i have here which is this guy here i have managed to get a hold myself of 75 yellow apps And let me tell you, I have never used Alps in my life. I am after some embers now, or some SKSM blues. And I have to tell you guys, these are awesome. These are amazing. I have to design, I still, I have yet to design an Alps PCB. But here is my, um, little push, I guess. So, it's on my list doing an Alps PCB. So let's cut to the chase, right? Because we got only so much time. Let's do it. Let it be very clear that this is the first time that I put my hands on a sharp PCB. So this is actually the first time that I'm doing this. Let's do it. Let's mount. Uh, by the way, I have tested the PCB beforehand, uh, before the stream. Works no problem, flashes, no problem. Uh, the reset works, no issue. Let's do it. Where are the switches? You're there. I think I remember there was a library which had a dual option for dual compatibility layouts on a PCB. Yeah, the uh, the Akron library has also has dual compatibility library, which uh, I believe is the MXA Akron switches underline MXA, which stands for um, MX and Alps and. Um, we can also do it, but I have never uh, uh, grabbed myself out switches that I could try the footprints on. Are you using the loop that are stock ones? The stock ones, you did ask for the stock ones, right? Well, 
Okay, so if you guys can take a look, the switches do align, but they don't fit right in because you have to. So remember in the last stream that I showed you guys, I was uh, building that Tada. And the Tada had this problem that the switches, that the plate was a little bit uh, bent. Sorry, the PCB was a little bit bent. So the switches, um, you had to press the switches while you were soldering, so there was a little technique to it, so that you didn't have bumps on the switches, the switches were aligned, and you have a whole technique for it. The footprints uh, that I divide here, they uh, are tight on the switches, such that if you press, so if you guys take a look, they are not, uh, they align, but they are not, um, uh, they are not fully in. If you press them, ever so gently they fit in and by friction they keep in their place so you don't have to worry about that uh, problem of having to keep uh, pressing the switch down and worrying about the um, about the about the uh, alignment because the switches they are really tight and fixed onto the plate. If uh, drifting is there, uh, drifting, the uh, Austin PCB was designed with these same footprints, meaning that the switches they have to be um, pressed ever so gently but still pressed against the PCB to fit in. This prevents the uh, switches from, um, you, this prevents you from soldering the switches on different heights and having a uh, bumped uh, experience on your typing, right? So then again, guys, this is how more or less it will look like. And what we are going to do now is putting the base plate there. Gondo, I had an idea. Spit it out, man. Let's see. So guys, what you're going to receive with your shark PCBs are these three PCB, base plate, switch point, and this little bag here with screws, standoffs, and rubber feet. So you guys can use it. What I'm going to do now is installing the uh, standoffs on the base plate. Where is my Phillips screw? Here it is. And my phone is down. Awesome. Fucker. Sorry guys. Sorry I dropped you. Here we are. You mentioned the possibility with of a 9.25 artisan. Yes, I have the idea of doing casting artisans of those huge ass um, space bars because I love them. So with Wiseboard they have this plastic label on top, so I guess you could also make a custom label to go in place of that. Yeah, the problem is that I have zero experience with uh, casting, even resin, so uh, I will really, you know, I'm really going to do it for the experience, but I really don't have many much faith because I don't have experience with that. But, um, well, that's how it is. So guys, what I'm doing now is I am installing the, um, the standoffs on the base plate. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a screw, tiny screw that comes with the kit, right? You put it through the plate here, the base plate. And then you screw and twist the standoff. So brass standoff. 
and you screw it on. So all five standoffs are there. Yep. So this is what it will look like on the final form, right? So you have the plate, switch plate plus PCB and the base plate. Man, it does look good. So before doing all of that, I will, of course, install the um, the stabilizer Boa noite, boa noite Dani Freitas. Como é que você tá, cara? Tudo bem? Okay, I did reserve a stabilizer for now, but I think I have to, yeah, I have to lube it first. Yes, I do. Let's lube it. Where is the, um, there it is. Let's move this step. Lube. Yep. Oops, wrong way, there you go, done, take off this excess, okay. done, awesome. The step is installed. Let me wash my hands. Too much, not too much. Never. Never too much. Everything's better when it is looped. Get that on your head, guys. Okay. 
Look the whole PCB, you coward. Look the keycap stems too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Then again, guys. It has, you have to push it a little bit. But the thing is that it won't come back. You won't have the problem with soldering them uh, unevenly. Hot swap? No, not hot swap. Not this one. No, this is soldered. I will solder the switches now. Loop the hot swap contacts too for optimal insertion. <laughs> you don't stop it, do you? Endless doggo, yep, he, he just doesn't stop. Tá usando quais switches? T1, tá? Essas aqui são T1 que uh, a gente abriu um GB faz um tempinho já. Uh, essas aqui são do Dash, ficaram comigo exatamente para isso aqui, tá? Para buildar esse uh, esse teclado aqui e ele vai é, e tem mais algumas dele aqui comigo que eu vou mandar para ele. Essas aqui agora são tem um estoque, mas eu estou mandando para ele algumas lubadas também que eu lubei para ele. I don't even know what that means. I'm a furry. What would you expect? Furries, man. Perverts. Salt. <laughs> If curiosity on that subject equals true, don't search that. No. Nope. Especially not furry, man. Let me tell you. Rule 34, my friend. Rule I mean, 60% of the people in contact are riding pretty nice. You can say that for any community, right? Like, you have the big majority of the community, or they just want to pass their time, or do their hobby, or whatever. And there are, there is this small portion that just Fs thing up, and you know, bad mouths, and makes the, that particular community badly known for whatever it is. That's, that's, that's just how it is in every community, be it the gamer community, the sports community, the keyboards community, the furry community. Every single one of them has their problems, man. But Murphy's Law has it, you will see the 40% first. Oh yeah. The Smurfy Law. 
Our drum alumas, yep. The only difference between the furry community and the mechanical keyboards community is that the furry community actually dress as the fucking animals. That's, that's just that, but they are just animals. Like the bad people that represent the community sometimes, they're really bad, they're just really fucked up. The only difference is that the furry community dress themselves as animals. That's just literally the, the, the only difference that there is. Okay, so one of the pens, one switch had its pins bent. There you go. So the reckless money spending is there too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, I don't know if you would be great to test as an ISO enter key. Yeah, especially because no one would use you if you dressed as an ISO enter key. Just kidding. Just kidding, stop it people. There we go, guys. You know what I noticed now? That the stems match pretty nicely the PCB color. I thought that, you know, I didn't expect that. So I'm going to start soldering, guys. Remember, all the, the, the hints that I gave you about soldering, all the, um, uh, you know, the, the, the problem that you had to really not keep the iron too much time on the pad and yada, yada, yada. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it fast now. I'm going to do it my pace. But, if you guys are starting on the hobby or you don't feel confident soldering stuff, take your time, get a beer, you know? Just get some beer, watch some YouTube videos, get on it, take your time. Don't rush it because you could risk damaging your stuff so just don't TS 100 intensified <laughs> yeah exactly get a good light source I have this lamp here let me see if I can um, direct it better but that's 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 just what I got man I'm sorry I don't have Mr. Keeps level of wealth. Buy my keeps, okay? Buy my keyboards so I can have money to buy better setup for stream. Okay, let's make that deal. I promise you, if you give me money, I'll use it to buy a nice streaming environment or whatever. Didn't mean your setup, but in general. Yeah, the problem is that I really don't have good light sources for streaming here. I have this lamp here, the uh, I have the like the room lamp there, and I really don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, I really wanted to do what Keeps does, which is he has these two big uh, wide lights, which really light up the whole area, and that makes it really better. But those are very expensive. Also, the camera that he uses is just better than mine. Mine is. Uh, a good panel or ring light will help you a lot. What's up, Clutes Design? How are you doing, man? Yeah, uh, I've been trying to do that, but the problem is that I really don't have money. For example, I'm a moron because with uh, Shark, um, I'm, I'm not profiting whatsoever with Shark. I've never intended to. But um, let's see how it goes. I mean, not wrong to earn money, right? Maybe I will 
start getting money to do stuff. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of Slayer recently, so I have raining blood on my head, and I'm like banana, banana, banana all the time, and I've been playing that riff on the guitar here. Let me wet the sponge, the sponge. Done. <clears throat> Ooh, that nice fume smell. Love it. Uh, oh, totally get that. Money is always a limiting factor. Yeah, stuff's not very cheap around here to get. So that's a problem that I have. For soldering, you made some nice mistakes before I set up enough light around it. Yeah, soldering you have to have a good light. I have this nice desk lamp and it really helps with focusing on what you're doing. So I always recommend using one of those. Those are generally very cheap. You can find some for very cheap, so be sure to use it. Corsair, my Archie custom keyboards, kkkkk, zoeira. Eu não sei o que responder dessa pessoa. Uh, beleza, top. Um, <risos> Zoe, brincadeira. Bom, precisaria alguma informação também, cara. Tô buildando um teclado aqui, tô só esperando o ferro esquentar. I know, I have added a light source over my project table made out of an LED ceiling light. I used a shelf and screwed it to the bottom of the shelf. I can send you a pic later. Please send picas. I love when you guys send me picas. Uh, it is much stronger than a desk lamp, cost me 60 reais for the lamp. I like that, I like that, okay, send me the, the, the files, the things, I, I really like to take a look at that. Uh, I just use a cheap IKEA USB lamp I can set up and I don't need the extra energy source. That's clever. I have, I have really to, to take a look at alternative source light, the sources of light, I really do, oh well, eventually, sometime in the future. Sometime. Guys, I'll start soldering then again. I will do it on my pace, kind of fast. If you guys have any questions, please ask me. Let's do it. Let me just lower this temperature. Okay.
Okay, first row is done. Let's see what you guys, if you guys said anything. Nope, nothing yet. Okay, second row. Somehow I missed that you had a mini V connector footprint in the Acom library till I saw that ruler. Uh, that was one of the last non Acron footprints I was using. You know, the Acron library is meant to be, the, the whole Acron project is meant to be community driven. So if you need a footprint, if you need support, if you need anything, you know, please ask me. I will, of course, add it to the library because it's interesting for me to have as many components as there as I can. Um, the Mini B1 uh, is pretty old. Uh, I don't know why you didn't see it before, but uh, maybe because it's not so popular. The USB-C is much more popular. Maybe that's it. Don't know. The thing is, uh, it is there. It is a very good uh, footprint. I have to change a little bit of the um, of the PCB pads, make them a little bit bigger, nothing much. It works like a charm. Uh, it was used on a PCB, it was used on the Allen Gate PCB. I can show you right now, just let me finish this. Um, and it works. Uh, as of today, every single footprint in the Akron library, the only footprint that I, I didn't uh, a test in real life in the library was the um, RGB LED. That one uh, is confirmedly working through a, a 3D model that I did myself from the datasheet dimensions, but I didn't check it um, in real life. I will once I get the uh, shipment of LEDs, uh, RGB LEDs that I'm, um, you know, getting. But everything there was tested, everything there is working 100% besides those two 
RGB LEDs, um, which are the reverse mounted LEDs. The WS2012 is used, confirmedly works. Uh, it was used, uh, I'm looking at it right now on the Shark. Works like a charm. Let's grow, guys. Bring it a little bit more to the light here. I'm making a replacement PCB for the Magic Force, so I have to use a micro B connector. Feel free. The one that's there works. It's really easy to obtain. You can um, you can obtain the connector any like virtually anywhere on DigiKey. I know it's there and Mauser Mauser. I know it's there on LCSC. I know it's there. Uh, and it's a pretty nice connector though. Honestly, between us, I prefer that mini B connector to this USB-C. USB-C has some nice features to it, yes. The problem being that on keyboards, you can't really use those features, which are the high power delivery and uh, the full speed USB 3.2, I guess, is the ultra high speed. Um, but uh, this um, connector here is really, really hard to solder, really hard to maintain, and being an SMD connector, it is really delicate. Um, the Mini B connector, it's full THT, it has no problems whatsoever, it's not delicate. I can attest myself that it's pretty sturdy and won't break easily, uh, the pads at least. I really like, I really prefer Mini B to anything, but it really seems that USB-C is a, is a given these days on keyboards, so... Also, come on, it's nice, USB-C is nice, it's bi-directional, it has lots of features, you can do crazy stuff with it, wink wink. Okay guys, we are done. Um, let me just check the solder joints. See if we have too little solder on any of them. Then again, uh, what I'm looking for is that tent shape, that curved shape, like a circus, the tent shape. So, um, everything looks cool. I'm looking for pads that have too little solder. I can't see none, maybe this one here. Let's see. Okay, done. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I can't see any problem, any problematic solder joint here. Maybe this one with two little solder on it. Nice. There it is, guys. Hey, Gondo, silly question. How many times have you burned your hands severely with a soldering iron? I have a recent injury that hurt like hell for a few days. I have many of them. Uh, more than I am um, able to accept. I have uh, burns all over my hands. I even have a burn on uh, here on my chest. I have this burn. I won't take my, my shirt off here for you guys. I'm sorry, but I do have this burn like right here from a solder um, from a solder iron that um, I was soldering at the time. I was 14. I remember this very clearly. I was 14. I was soldering a, a distortion, a Boss Metal Zone distortion pedal. I don't remember if I was building it or um, fixing it, and then I had a cat that startled me. I don't remember exactly why, but he startled me, and it was uh, I just it went like this, and then the solder iron just went on my chest, and I have this big scar here on my chest of the iron. My hands are full of burn scars. Uh, I have very rough hands, by the way, but um, yeah, yeah, too many times, way too many times. Please be careful with this kind of stuff, guys. Speaking of THT, so Tokyo says, speaking of THT and SMD, could you briefly explain how to add a micro or such to a PCB design in the fourth part of the guide that Mr. Keeps? For people who will like to design and build a personal PCB but lack the skills to solder SMD. So, um, in the uh, series that I'm doing with Mr. Keeps, the connector that we are using is a THT Mini B. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what is a micro C. Um, if you're referring to this one here, it's just, uh, there's really nothing much to it. Uh, you can just take a look at the shark files, you can get to the repo, the documentation, take a look at the shark files and see how it did it. You have to get like a couple, I believe, two or three, no. No, it's like four or five more components for uh, uh, um, current configuration, but more than that, nothing uh, uh, considerable. Um, tell you what, Tokyo, um, send me a PM on a Discord and I will be sure to address that on the fourth uh, episode. Okay. Now let's screw the base plate. Yay! Okay, let me turn this off. Okay guys, remember, every time you turn your soldering iron off, don't forget to turn it, because the point of the soldering iron is made of a very, very fine metal. And it should be taken really care of because it can go off, get off, it can corrode and whatnot. So you should always tin it, keep it shiny, keep it free from problems. What I really like to do is get this very big blob of solder on the tip there. There you go. Very big blob and turn the uh, the iron off. There we go. Let's just leave it here. Fuming. And let's screw this. And we are almost there, guys. We are almost at the end. Is this build going to have nipple feet? Yes, it is. There you go. You can see because they are transparent, but those are rubber feet. Oh, yeah. We got the rubber feet here, boys. 
Where are the screws for this one? Where did I leave the screws? Did I leave the screws? Am I a moron? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Here it is. Also, come on, Doggo, what's our thing with nipples, man? This is a friendly, family-friendly stream, dude. Come on. Help me here, man. You know, one thing that I have always hated about these um, skeleton burger, whatever you want to call it, mounts, uh, is the height that they would use because those generally these generally use uh, pro micros for example my jerkins I have for you guys that don't know I have three gherkins jerkins I don't know uh, how you pronounce it correctly and they're amazing the only problem being that they are too tall so um, because of that pro micro that they use but but um, the shark doesn't. The shark has like, it's very, very slim. Man, I, I, I keep praising this crap because I'm designing it, but by God, did it turn good. I mean, holy hell. I did spend quite a lot of time on this too. So this is, this turned out quite a nice PCB. I'm really glad about how it turned out, even after all that I went through. I don't know, man. I guess I'm just Brazilian. Anyways, what do you guys think about adding stereo system feet on my PC case to cut vibration? Nice. Hey, Gondo, can I just take the Arctic PCB project and ask PCBWay to make it for me? Absolutely. If you take a look at the Arctic PCB repo, uh, you have the pre-release alpha, you have all the files that you need there. Beware, though, that these are prototypes. That's why it's a pre release so I can't guarantee that they work I can't guarantee that they are 100% which is exactly why I'm prototyping them uh, if I confirm that the uh, pre-alpha version does work I'll release it as release alpha which is a full fledged release that I can guarantee works because I prototyped it so uh, you know at your own risk it is uh, at the um, uh, Ekron uh, open source hardware license that you should be wary of uh, what you do with the projects and no warranty is available because of that reason so uh, I would in your case wait a little bit until I have um, a pro like a, a prototype the thing and confirmed that it works you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Just don't get the fuck types. Yeah, the fuck types are the ones. They aren't even there. I think they are, but goddamn. Just uh, get the pre-revision alpha 
and um, it should work. I mean, there's can't be much wrong there, but you know, just a disclaimer there and to prevent myself from any shenanigans. Guys, this is a complete shark PCB. Goddamn, it feels good. With this. So now I'm going to get a, a keyboard that I also got today to fix. Um, which is a, um, an ortho. Let me get it. I will take the key set off of it. Okay, so a friend sent me this today um, to fix. Uh, I will try and fix it, but for now, I will just use the key set. I forget how good those switches are, man. Oh my god. Gotta go again, bruh. Thanks again for everything. Thank you, man. Thank you for being here. Anything you need, just ask me. Your uh, tofu is on the list for the streams. Okay? I know it will come only January, but I'd like to see the Austin stream. Yeah, um, your Austin, I will stream both yours and mine when they get here. I don't, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but DB did already received the received the uh, PCBs, so we will probably submit a PR to Kim K shortly.
I saw something yesterday about custom delays. Didn't check it today. Don't know about custom delays. I do know that DB got the PCBs. At least he put some uh, some pictures on the Discord there. So yeah, maybe. Don't know. Take a look at his Discord server. Oh yeah, I'm digging it. I'm so digging this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, I sure as hell am anxious for the end of the month. I think I'll be able to pick my new PC case up. Nice! I've shown the case, yeah. Really nice case, man. I decided to build a starter right in the side of my current one in this, if this space allows it. Awesome, I want pictures of that. Shadow effects, I'm bankrupting, building the Austin and pug grading. I have no idea what, what pug grading is. I believe it's upgrading your PC. Yeah, the real to dollar conversion rate is just insane right now. So shit's expensive right now, man. That's really a shame. Really bad that that's happening, but what are we gonna do, right? Let me see if I have another to you to use here. Uh, 
I think that particular set doesn't have another 2U, so I'll just grab a 2U from a DSA set, which should do the trick. Guys, here it is. My first ever built Shark PCB, and I must say, I am so proud of this. Feels good, it's the right height. Um, I'm not used to ortho. Yeah. Man. Really glad. Really, really glad. Well guys, plug the thing, let's see if it works. I already did, uh, I already did plug the PCB in, let me, let me show you. I did plug the PCB in before the stream to test it, and yep, work as a charm. Oh, also, Dago, here it is, Beast, I bought this Beast from Dago. My ears. Clavier, what's up, man? Just wrapping it up, dude. Nice stream cut. Here it is. The wise with Ooh, the nave is so good these switches, man. Here it is, guys. The first at least my first ever built shark PCB. Let's plug it in. I have this beast of a of a full size keyboard, and then there's the shark. Look, look at this. Yeah, I have this beast of a full size, and then the. Thick mouse and thick keyboard, and thick gondo. Let's plug it in. Clavier, I only just joined and I'm so confused. Don't worry, man. Here's the bottom line. I just built my first Shark PCB. Uh, uh, in Brazil, we had five Shark PCB orders. And, um, well, everyone's happy about it. And, yep. Works perfectly, man. I'm just not used to... Uh, I'm just not used to the layout, but works perfectly. Yeah, I have to get used to the layout. But it works nice. How terrible is this pace bar that doesn't have a step? Not bad at all. Honestly, not bad at all. I mean, there is a difference there. You can clearly see a difference, but usable. It's usable. Honestly, it's 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 very usable. I'm I'm surprised really. But yeah, you can use it no problem. It's this uh, uh, white one here. This one has a stab, and this other one doesn't. Guys, uh, 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 Dash told me he wanted a two spacebar configuration, and I told him I just have one. I just had one stab because of the goddamn uh, stab stabilizer Mageddon that's happening on the hobby because Cherry just fucked up their tooling. So I don't have stab. So I told him, dude, I just have one stab, and he's like. 
just use one step for one and leave the other to the other spacebar without it and honestly man usable uh, uh, I, I really have to say that it doesn't bind at all if you if you tap like on the sides which would be like if you tap on the center it's perfect if you tap on the sides where you expect it would be uh, it would be harder nope not at all really impressed I'm really really impl impressed never tried to use them this way well guys there it is the first shark PCB built and working here it is I wished on the side it was here to see his creation his Nick but oh well he's not so this is pretty much what I had uh, for now for today it's it's a really nice kit um, it's not a uh, tall it's very thin so it's very very usable um, Honestly, I'm not used to the ortho layout, so I'm not going to do a type test because I'll just do a mess, but um, yeah, shit's working pretty good. No problem so far. Um, it has the default uh, layout, so you can just go on the, um, get on the, um, the key map there and edit your key map as you wish. Boa noite, Gondolindrin, boa noite. Até mais, fechando esse thing aqui. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I still need a two use tab into paint to get proper screw in ones, and I'm too lazy to actually order. Yeah, I didn't order um, uh, the new screen ones because um, everyone says they're crap, and um, because Cherry did uh, redo their tooling. But um, yeah, so I'm stateless. Uh, I had this one here because I was going to do my shark stream with that case, but then I was thinking, well, why, why wouldn't I do dashes and send it to him? So, yeah, there you go. Uh, uma dúvida, qualquer PCB pode virar hot swap? Não. É, a PCB tem que ser especialmente feita para hot swap. Dá uma olhada depois no comecinho da stream. Eu mostrei uma PCB que eu projetei hot swap, chamada Kips PCB, que é hot swap. Ela tem que ser uh, uh, especialmente projetada para ser hot swap. Tem uns soquetes hot swap da Keio que são feitos para isso. Existem outros soquetes que são os mil max, por exemplo, mas esquece, tipo, não funciona. Tá, então a princípio sim. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Seems like every time Cherry tools something, they end up messing something up. The issue with Cherry is that uh, our community. It's not the issue with Cherry, it's like the issue with us that our community is just such a small population of their uh, business that they can pretty much screw things up and they just can go you know, fuck yourselves because we're just small fish to them the big <laughs> sharks the big OEMs they just don't give a crap as long as you cut down costs and production time so I believe that's what they did they did the tooling to uh, cut costs and production time and uh, it turned as it did so yeah, what are you gonna do, man? Like, there's there's pretty much nothing we can do. Although some alternatives are rising up, you can see the C3s. There are the Everglides. You always have the Zeal ones, uh, despite their huge price. Maybe that's something worth, uh, if you think they're worth. That's your prerogative. Mm. As a new member, I have no idea what to order, considering all the drama surrounding them. Um, avoid cherry steps for now because the latest batches they are utter garbage um try ordering the new alternatives like uh, everglide and c3 you can also order zeals particularly i'm not fond of zeal steps they are very high quality they are very nice but they are crazy expensive and i can't i just can't afford the kind of thing so um there are there was this very large buy of C3 that I did enter uh, C3 steps colored steps and whatnot so yeah um, 
Kind of lingering, my dad flat out said Charlie's tooling could have much improvement just looking at the stems and said it might be dirt in the molds. Um, I don't know. Cherry is one of the top leading um, companies in the field of um, uh, plastic injection in the world. So I would take that with a grain of salt. But then again, your dad is a plastic injection expert. So for now, I'll trust him because there's there's just no ex there's just no explaining how Cherry, which is such a known and consistent uh, a, a company, you know, screens something so uh, important up. Um, let's see how they react. Maybe they won it all. Maybe they will just go fuck yourselves and um, solve your problems yourselves and we will have to buy alternatives forever. Maybe Cherry Stabs will be vintage f five years from now. Who knows? Um, things come and go, man. Like uh, SA, I remember that a couple years ago in the community, SA was the shit. SA was the thing everyone wanted to say. SA was big, and now uh, SA sucks. No one wants to say SA is bad. MT3 is better. You have practically no SA set GBs whatsoever. We are flooded with GMK. Uh, we have new profiles coming up like MG, like KAT. Um, MT3 is pretty much um, um, settled now. It's it's uh, it's pretty much settled now. People like MT3. So things change, man. Things change in this community. Things change quite fast, actually. So yeah, who knows. Então esse da Kale aceita os switches de outras marcas, Gatron, etc. Então, uh, White XP, dá uma olhadinha no começo da stream depois, é, que eu mostro como é que funciona lá o... o eu projetei uma PCB uh, Hot Swap ali, você dá uma olhadinha depois como é que funciona. Tem um soquetezinho especial. Qualquer switch tipo MX funciona nesse soquete Hot Swap. Um, besides the price itself, uh, okay, so to Toikyo says, um, I have a Ropro Blue, so I thought of ordering color matching blue C3 suede. Amazing. I ordered, I think I ordered a, a C3 uh, kit of every color because they are gorgeous. I, I thought they were just amazing. And cheap, too. Um, besides the price itself, so Shadow Fact says, besides the price itself, you've got to buy more things with seal to make it worth the shipping. Mm, depends. Uh, to Brazil, uh, you can order from Zil directly to Brazil. If you do, please order the untracked shipping because um, the tracked shipping that Zil uses, I believe, is first class carrier and that will most probably get um, um, import tax uh, with a taxation. Um, so use the, un, uh, the untracked. Yeah, you will spend like five dollars for that shipping. I haven't done it myself. My ZLV tools, which are in my tofu right now, they uh, I got that from that uh, shipping. So you should try it. I can see people. Evil says I can see people looking for vintage cherry steps, like they look for vintage blacks now. Yeah, um, I can pretty much see um, our. Uh, old pre retool uh, cherry steps being vintage and worth a shit ton of money in the near future. So um, I think that this is the time to stock cherry steps if there are any out there. Uh, old pre retooling uh, cherry steps. Because I don't think they will back off from the, the retooling or improve it whatsoever. Gondo, and I have the superior cherry profile signature plastics to flex on SA guys. Cherry profile signature plastics? I had no idea that was a thing. Yeah, I have like the, the, the stab that I used here is pretty much the only one that I had. Um, I'm pretty much 
screwed at this point. Um, honestly, I don't know what to do. I have no steps whatsoever. I mean, what you're gonna do? I did buy C3s though, so let's let's wait for that. The wise keycaps are SP, are they? That's amazing. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, they are from the company that would uh, in the future turn into SP. Yeah, man, that's awesome. That's awesome. I I didn't remember that. Uh, Toikyo says new dream set currently Wonderland plus Le Brigante, a clear lick plus pink sitters plus marshmallow switches plus GMK analog dreams. I don't know that set. Let me see. That's a very pretty key set. That is nice. Awesome, indeed. Back then it was still called CompTech. Yep, uh, exactly that one. I didn't remember that. So yeah, this is a pretty nice set of keycaps. I'm really digging it. I'm really digging how they feel. Really nice. Drifting Bunnies is here. Yeah, so you can ask him directly on what, whatever you need. So drifting. Uh, remember to um, remember to tell people when they are building the Austin. Uh, I believe we didn't see the stream on the uh, 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 middle instance. The switch footprints are made so that the PCB mount pegs of the switches are very tight on them so you have to press ever so slightly but you do have to press the switches against the PCB so that they fit quite nicely that is made so that you don't uh, have the problem of if the plate is bent or if the PCB is bent the um, the switches are uh, unevenly aligned and you make the error the mistake of soldering them unevenly so that's why I did that so if anyone asks why the uh, uh, switches have to be pressed gently against the uh, PCB, that's why. Uh, it was designed that way to prevent wrong solder joints. Guys, this is pretty much what I've got. Um, I'm going to have to close stream right now. I still have to grab a bite and uh, take a shower. If you guys have anything more to ask or to add, please do now. Awesome, so it seems that you guys don't have any more questions. Okay guys, that's pretty much what I had. Um, if you guys have any more questions, um, I hope that I was able to uh, answer them on this stream, especially on the building process of the shark. If you, hi if you guys have any more questions, please ask me. Um, send me PMs and whatever. I will probably stream again tomorrow doing an unboxing and a review of um, DevTTY, RedSam, um, that Clouds of Bespin um, Artisan, the DSA Nerds, and um, maybe the Alps Yellows, but I don't have anywhere to like any PCB to put them, so maybe yeah, maybe not, don't know. Maybe. 
Um, and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow or the day after. Thanks for the stream, and I'm very glad you like the keyboard. It's amazing. It's it's sturdy. It's heavy. It's solid. It's thick. Okay, guys. See you guys next time. If you guys have any questions, I'm here for you. Bye bye.